So I just got a copyright claim on one of my videos here on YouTube, and I thought I'd show you exactly how to handle it within YouTube Studio. Let's take a look. Restream is your simple solution for live streaming to YouTube or multi-streaming across multiple social media platforms. Plus, its web-based service is available on popular browsers, and if you're already live streaming, it's compatible with your favorite live streaming and recording tools as well. Head over to tryrestream.today, check out its intuitive design, and start live streaming today. All right, so we're here in YouTube Studio. You'll see right here in the middle, it says video received a copyright claim. Now, if you click on view options, it's gonna bring open this portal. It says monetization is ineligible. Now I'm 100% certain at the time that this video was released, I had the full rights to use this particular song uh, through the subscription service, uh, music service that I was using back then. However, I have switched uh, providers. I now use Soundstripe for all my video and audio. If you want a more reliable option for sound that's not going to have you run into these random copyright claims, then I suggest you give uh, Soundstripe a try. You can go over to trysoundstripe.today and use my promo code Creator Crew to save 20% off your order. This particular claim is from a previous provider, as I mentioned, and even though I'm 100% certain I had the rights to use this at the time. Uh, I really don't feel like going back and figuring out uh, who that service was and what their terminology looks like to fight this. So what I'm going to show you here is how to remove this particular section or fix this section of the video so we can restore monetization. So as you see at the bottom, it's telling me that the very end of the video from 609 to 654. All right, so video cannot be monetized. Over here on the right, we have select action and we have three different options. We can mute the song. We can replace the song. We can trim out the segment. These two, the trim out is, is kind of obvious and mute. We're going to actually replace the song and use something from YouTube's free library in order to avoid this trouble that uh, they're saying we don't have right to use this song, even though I'm 100% sure we did at the time, which would mean that we would continue to have rights uh, to keep that song in there. But for whatever reason, they found it a couple years later and they don't feel that way. So we're just going to avoid all the hassle and replace the song altogether. So let's find what was the one I found in here. I thought I saw a good one. Something about the beach. Let's see. We'll do a search. Since this is beach related. Let's see if we get any beach beach options. Snake on the beach. That's weird. Sunset. Yeah, we'll go with that one. That'll work. We'll put that in there. It automatically resizes that section to match the section of the copyright claim. We have the option to, to remove it. And here it's trying to come up with a preview so we can watch. Uh, tends to be a little slow there, but we'll, uh, let's see, put the cursor right here and see what it does you simplify YouTube That certainly gets the job done. So once we're happy with that, it's gonna replace that section. We click the save button. The process might take a while. Once the audio claim has been successfully replaced, we'll update any viewing or monetization restrictions. Users will continue to see the current version of your video until the edits are processed. So we'll hit save on that and it's gonna do its thing in the background. And we pretty much just have to wait for everything to update. Edits that you make on YouTube, they can vary on how long they take, whether you go in the YouTube editor, or whether you're doing this from the copyright perspective, uh, depending on their volume or whatever other factors are involved, it can vary on how long it takes, but we'll let this ride, let it do its thing, let it clean up this uh, perceived copyright issue, and uh, that should be taken care of. And then what happens was once that song has been removed, your monetization should return to the original status that it was at, and your video will continue to earn money here on YouTube. All right, now that we've given this some time to process that update, we see here the video received a copyright claim. Now when we drill into this, we'll see that the channel is not affected, the video is public, and monetization is on, and this video has no copyright issues. So simply uh, addressing the concern, which was that audio clip uh, that uh, they flagged as being a copyright strike, even though I know it wasn't, it was simply easier to just replace the uh, given audio clip with something from YouTube's library.
Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to continue to be alerted to content that can help you grow your channel and earn income around your content, be sure to click that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Hey, let me know in the comments below whether you've ever been hit with a copyright claim and how you went about resolving that issue. And let me know if you'd like to see more videos on how to recover from copyright claims that you think are unwarranted. Also, I'm going to put a playlist on screen now full of YouTube feature tutorials. Definitely check Check that out. And that button below me, that round circle, that's a subscribe button. Make sure you click that, ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.